What's up guys, this is uh, Cameron Johnson here. Just wanted to go over my Switchback guitar collection. Um, Switchback is a, <clears throat> a very small company, in fact it's only one guy. His name is Mike Package, he makes amazing guitars. Over the last three or four years, of I guess about three years I've amassed four of them. And I just figured I'd show you guys what I have uh, in case you're interested in checking them out or if you're just curious and like to nerd out on guitars like myself. Um, so this is the first one I bought. This is his Country Boy style. Basically like a Telecaster, slightly a narrow waist as he puts it. Um, typical, well, kind of atypical for a Tele. Um, I'll go into the controls here in a second, but maple fretboard, maple neck, sort of like a nice little flame on there. A gold switchback logo, it might not show up. Take right in this light. Abalone inlays. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. And uh, I went for a trim bridge. Like I said, this is the first one I ordered for him, so I kind of just chose what I wanted um, as opposed to your typical tele Telecaster bridge. So tremolo, Godo tremolo, which is great. To tele controls reverse. So here's our pickup selector in the back. Tone, volume. And this is a, I think I've seen more Duncan. Custom, custom, I don't know, custom, custom. I'm terrible right now with, with the pickups. It, you know, I always forget what's in what. And another Duncan um, P90. I, I love the humbucker on the bridge, P90 and the neck uh, combination. Just works great for what I like to do. I can roll off the tone if I need to get some more humbuckery sounds out of this. Otherwise, it just sounds like a nice, big, fat single coil. Um, and this one has like 21 frets and the little spoke wheel truss adjust, which is great. Um, the finish is a little distressed, just, but just with sort of your finished cracks, you can kind of see. Um, a little bit of wear on here on purpose, but otherwise, it's uh, everything else is playing wear. Let's flip it over. Okay, I don't know if you can see uh, with the camera, but we got a nice finish checking right here, um, which I just thought was a cool little thing to add to it. I'm not really into distress stuff, but this is the one I decided to try it on. Um, I have this, of course, to keep the springs uh, silent when recording. And here's the back of the neck, which I think, which I think is beautiful. We've actually we actually changed tuners on this one, I believe. So this is kind of like the experiment one. You know, a lot of stuff that I'd never done before on a guitar. We tried, and it, uh, I think it worked out great. So this is kind of my number one, um, and of course, I didn't mention it, but jumbo frets, or super jumbos, I believe. Okay, so this is my second um, switchback. I ordered this about two years ago. Um, this is the Mura, Mura, I can't pronounce it, obviously, but it's essentially his version of sort of like a Jaguar, a Jazz Master sort of shape. Um, I actually lost the trim, so uh, I had to bar I kind of have to move my, uh, the trim from my country boy around. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, same tremolo, Goto trim, and uh, it's uh, just an awesome guitar. Same setup, we got humbucker in the bridge, P90 in the neck, three-way toggle up here, rosewood fretboard this time, um, clay dot inlays, and I wanted to go kind of old school Fender, got the matching uh, bluish sort of, I guess it's sort of like, not sonic blue, maybe kind of baby blue, I don't know what the official color is. Um, but yeah, really cool stuff <clears throat> on the back. Same sort of situation. Pick guard, or the, uh, well, obviously the tape's messed up right here, but uh, I need to redo that. Same, you know, flame maple neck. Got like the color of the flame maple neck. My favorite place to have flame is a, on a neck, actually. I don't really care for flame much anywhere else. Looks like a coffee table otherwise to me, but that's just me. Let's move on. Okay, so this is my third switchback I purchased. This is the another country boy in silver. This is actually his uh, prototype. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, this has same sort of setup, P90 neck, humbucker on the bridge. Although I believe these two, as well as the one, the last guitar I showed, were are actually his original pickups. He wound them, wound them himself. This is, has a different bridge on it. This is a um, hip shot tremolo. This is, and we, I, just, I opted for the um, three-way toggle versus the blade switch on this guy right here. And uh, let's see, what else can I say about it? Maple neck, 
I think these are zebra wood dots on here. This is a lot more, what simpler. This is, well, this was actually sort of going to be my, um, sort of not beater guitar, but the guitar to like my, uh, spare guitar, so to speak when I play out. But, um, it was too nice. So I, I, did, I just decided to use it as a main guitar. But a lot of this he actually chose from, uh, cause it was sort of like a prototype and I just bought it off of them. Um, so a lot of this I didn't choose except for the pickups, the switch, everything else. I think I said maple neck, but everything else he kind of did what he wanted to do, which is fine with me. All right, let's take a look at the back. Uh, you might've noticed that all my guitars or none of them have even holes drilled for the back plate cause I never use a back plate. I think they're kind of, they're for aesthetics and I don't see a point to use them. It's just a pain in the ass. I take them off usually anyway. So, um, this one has this two bolt design, which is pretty unique. Um, a couple other uh, builders do it, but he has a different sort of uh, way of doing it, which is pretty cool on the inside of the neck pocket. have the skunk stripe on the back and uh, more hip shot. I think all my tuners are hip shot. These aren't locking, but they're gearless and they look great. And last but not least, this is my most recent acquisition. I got this actually yesterday, or what was it yesterday? The day before yesterday in the mail. Um, I'd sold my, all my strats and I decided to get one of his, he calls him the city boy. But uh, I, I went for a more traditional layout for this guy right here. Pickups, uh, these are all his custom pickups. Um, but of course, instead of a single coin of the bridge, I went with the humbucker. I feel it was a little bit more versatile. And then two singles. And typical volume tone tone. Um, one of the tones is for the neck pickup and one's for the bridge. Five-way switch, gold hardware, Goto tremolo, but with the modern saddles. The finish is actually burgundy mist. It looks kind of pink on the camera, but it's burgundy mist. But if it's pink, that's fine. I think it looks awesome. Prince would be uh, all about rocking this guitar. The, the uh, neck is a baked maple neck. Um, it just helps with stability and makes it look nice and nice and tan. I guess it looks like you went to the beach roll too long, but it looks great. Um, Gold logo kind of blends in on this one, but that's okay. And all my necks are oiled. No finish on the necks. All right, so let's take a look at the back. Once again, the trend continues. No holes drilled. He returned to his usual or original sort of uh, easy access uh, heel. Um, and this is one of my favorite elements of this guitar. We used, or he used, at my request, a ebony skunk stripe versus I guess the walnut one that's usually used or mahogany or whatever. And I think it looks awesome. It reminds me of a, a classical guitar. Um, locking, hip shots, and beautiful flame on the back. <clears throat> this one actually has um, medium jumbo frets, but they're actually a little bit smaller and more like medium. And I was a little bummed at first. It was my fault because I didn't realize that all my other guitars had like insane jumbo frets until I asked a student of mine and he's like, yeah, your frets are ridiculously big. So I'm used to those, so this is going to be, this. I'm kind of getting used to this guitar's frets. Um, <clears throat> I kind of like them, a little bit harder to bend. Your, your fingers kind of get stuck on the fretboard in places, but it actually is nice not having to worry about um, detuning the guitar by pressing down too hard on the super jumbo frets. But I'm excited about this one, guys. This is really cool. I hope I don't plan on buying any more guitars, at least for a long, long time, although that never seems to stick. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.